The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 21 through 35. One day, Peter came to Jesus with a question. Lord, how many times should I forgive someone who sins against me? Up to seven times? Peter must have been really proud of himself. Being able to forgive seven times sounded like an awful lot, like really getting it right. But Jesus didn't really see it that way. I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Wait, I'm supposed to forgive someone 77 times? As he often did, Jesus told a story to help explain what he meant. The kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to collect all the money his servants owed him. If Jesus told the story today, it might sound something like this. The king peered down from his magnificent titanium throne and called for his royal keeper of records. Royal Keeper of Records. Please refer to me as CFO. CFO. Chief Financial Officer. That's... I know what it is. CFO. How are the Royal Coffers? They aren't coffers. They're offshore digital accounts. The Record Keeper whipped out his tablet and instantly set up a secure network. Fine. How are my offshore digital accounts? Alarmingly low. How's that? Where's all my money? You've lent it out to people, your majesty. Lent it out? Well, make them give it back. The king called for a servant who owed him an immense amount of money. You owe me? Mm, how much does he owe me? 10,000 golden credits. 10,000 golden credits. 10,000 golden credits. Pay it back at once. But uh, I could work my whole life and never pay that back. You should have thought of that before spending 10,000 golden credits. What even costs 10,000 golden credits? Stuff. 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 Matter, material, or articles of a specified or indeterminate kind. I know what stuff is. Pay me 10,000 golden credits this instant, or you and your family must work as slaves for the rest of your lives. The desperate servant threw himself at the king's feet. Please, please give me time. I'll, I'll, I'll pay it back. I promise. Well, okay. Fine. Oh, he'll give me time. Nope. But you said... I'm forgiving the debt. I don't owe 10,000 golden credits? You don't owe 10,000 golden credits. He doesn't owe 10,000 golden credits. The record keeper swiped his finger on the tablet and the debt was instantly erased. Yes! <laughs> the servant left the palace free of his heavy burden. Now I'm walking on sunshine, whoa, walking on sunshine, whoa. But everything changed the instant he saw an even more menial minion, another servant who owed him a few dollars. You. Me. You. The first servant grabbed the second man by the throat and shook him hard. Pay me what you owe me. <coughs> Please. <coughs> Please, please give me time. <coughs> I'll pay it back. Oh, I promise. But the first servant refused. In fact, he had the second servant thrown in prison. Other people saw what happened and they told the king. Preposterous. Bring him here at once. The first servant returned to the royal palace. Walking on sunshine. You evil servant. Uh, excuse me? How much did this man you threw in jail owe? He only owed a few credits. A few credits? Yeah, a few credits. And he's gonna pay me. The king leapt up off his throne and roared at the servant. I forgave all that you owed me because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on the other servant just as I had mercy on you? Uh, is that like multiple choice? Throw him in jail until he pays back every single golden credit. As Jesus finished the story, he looked at Peter and the others among them. 
This is how my Father in heaven will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Jesus' words were clear. God puts no limits on forgiveness, and neither should we.